So we have a challenging SQL problem here. We have dummy stock data for the last 30 days where we are capturing three columns, stock symbol, the date of transaction and the price at which the stock was last traded. Now we need to show the stocks which have gained in each of the last five trading sessions. For example, if you look at stock ABC, its current price is 99.94. On 5th of April, it was 99.03. So it gained value today. Similarly, it gained value in the previous session as well and all the last five sessions. So we should show ABC in the final output. If even on a single day, stock recorded losses or did not increase, we should not consider that stock. The output should look like this. The DDL and the insert statements are present in the comment section. Please subscribe the channel for more such interesting problems. As I have suggested in my previous videos as well, if you are in the learning phase, solve the problem first in your mind or on a piece of paper, your problem solving ability will increase. So here in our data set, if we have an additional column which showed the previous working day price of the stock, the comparison would be easier. So first we need to add this column with previous day price. From that, we can calculate whether the stock price increased or not. And finally, we need to filter this data to retain only the five latest dates. Now, if the sum of our flag is five, then on all five days, the price increased. Otherwise, on one or more days, the price did not increase and we do not want to consider such stocks. Let's move to our SQL developer and solve this problem now. So here we have the data and in order to add the new column with the previous state price, we will use the lead analytical function. We will partition by the stock symbol and we will order by transaction date. And now we have the column ready. After this, we had to calculate the increase flag. Now, instead of creating a new column, Let's do this here only. We will use a case statement. If the last transaction price is greater than the previous day price, which we are calculating with the help of our lead function. In that particular case, we will assign the value as one else it will be zero. So now our flag is also ready and we have to identify the fifth maximum date so that we can filter the data set. For that, first we will find the distinct transaction dates from this data set. And then we will use another analytical function row number to get the fifth maximum date. This is how the syntax would look like. I'm a big fan of analytical functions and with or CTE clause, they are efficient and allow a lot of complex problem to be solved easily. We will choose the rank here as five. And now we have the fifth maximum date as well. Now we will use the with clause. Let's assign some name to these query blocks. Let's call this stock data and let's call the another one fifth maximum date. We will do a Cartesian join between these two blocks. Since the second one only has one row, the number of rows will remain the same after Cartesian join as well. We will use a filter condition to only select rows where the stock transaction date is greater than or equals to the fifth highest date. Let's verify this for a particular stock and it is working correctly. We only got five rows. Now that it is working correctly, and we already have the flag column. All we need to do is group by the stock symbol and add a condition to only show stock symbols where the sum of flag is five. This would indicate all stocks which have increased in the last five days. Let's do this here. And we got the final output. Only ABC has increased on all last five days. You can solve this problem in n number of ways. In case if you wrote this query in a different way, please post that in the comment section. 
and if you still have any questions around this please post them as well i'll be happy to help if you are still watching this video let's see if you can solve this problem can you identify the percent change in all stocks in the last 5 days for example if a stock was trading at $100 5 days ago and it is at 105 today it's a 5% increase post your solution in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video